a real U.S. American. Ebert declares a thumb war and the hazards of live TV. Oh my goodness. Hey everybody, I'm Tony Masillas and this is your regularly scheduled programming. Hope you had a good weekend. I did, although I have a little bit of a cold as I'm sure you can hear. And on Saturday, I actually got to see Frances McDormand. I was shopping in the Gap. She came in with her kid. She actually sounds a lot like she did in Fargo. I'm sure that I agree with you 100% on your police work there, Lou. And I also have got to start watching beauty pageants. I clearly missed a doozy this weekend. I don't know if you've heard about this yet. It is the top viral video by far, 2 million views and counting on YouTube, I give you Miss Teen South Carolina, Lauren Caitlin Upton. Recent polls have shown a fifth of Americans can't locate the U.S. on a world map. Why do you think this is? I personally believe that U.S. Americans are unable to do so because uh, some people out there in our nation don't have maps and uh, I believe that our ed education like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq everywhere like such as and and as a US American such as she still managed to finish in third place how long I wonder until somebody registers help the Iraq.com right on Craigslist if you're in Denver and you're planning a wedding well you're going to want to consider this a nude wedding photographer. He'll photograph your special day completely in the buff. It is really all the rage right now. That and those cupcake trees instead of cakes, a lot of people are doing that too. The film critic Roger Ebert is reportedly thumb wrestling with Disney. He's negotiating a new contract and is refusing to allow the show Ebert and Roper to use that thumbs up, thumbs down thing until the terms are settled. He actually owns the trademark apparently on thumbs. I think the finger is still available, though, if you're looking for a patent. And from the annals of viral video history, it was May 2003, a local reporter in Seattle headed to the campus of Western Washington University for a live shot. She didn't know there was going to be a full moon that night. Students stunned to learn what this federal complaint... <coughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's ISP. Send us an email, guys. It's ISP at CBS.com. I'm Tony Masillis. Now get back to work. And, uh, I believe that our ed education, like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq, everywhere like such as.